Hello there, this is Janusz Makula for WBLESS9 and thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily add dimension to your handmade cards and create a faux 3D decoupage look. 3D decoupage is an art of layering paper to create a 3D effect by cutting out elements of varying sizes from a series of identical images and layering them on top of each other, usually with foam adhesive in between each layer to give the image more depth. I'm going to use Petunia Builder stamp set to create a faux 3D decoupage look on my cards. So to create a 3D decoupage look, I need to first make identical images, and I'm doing so by stamping two of each image onto white paper. My images will be identical in size and I will offset them when I go to foam mount them to add additional dimension to my card. I'm using my Mini Misty stamp positioner and I'm going to stamp two sets of images, flowers and leaves, using two sets of ink colors. I'm experimenting with colors today and because I want to make more than one project, I'm stamping multiples. I'm using Miami Spice, Sweet Nectar and Flamingo colors to stamp my peach colored petunias and Bloomsberry, Cockle Shell, and Cranberry Crush to stamp my purple petunias. To make things go a bit faster, I am first stamping the bottom layers of all of my flowers, next stamping medium layers, and finally stamping top detail layers. I'm also stamping leaves in the same manner, stamping two sets of leaves on each of my sheets, and I'm using Last Leaf and Apple Teeny ink colors for this. Once my stamping is done, I'm going to cut these images out using coordinating dies. And since this technique requires to do a lot of die cutting or a lot of cutting, it's best to have coordinating dies for your images so that you're not doing a ton of cutting by hand. After I die cut my flowers, I noticed that the centers became a bit too pale for my taste, so I used Cranberry Crush ink and re-stamped those to make them a bit more prominent on my flowers. I used Cranberry Crush for my peach flowers and also intensified the centers on my purple flowers using black ink. I've already created simple stamped backgrounds for my cards and I used Big Top Background and I simply stamped it twice using Fairy Dust ink color. I'm making 4 bar size cards today. So I stamped my backgrounds onto panels cut to 3 and 3 8 inches by 4 and 3 quarter inches. I'm also going to stamp a sentiment onto each of my panels and my sentiments come from the Kind Soul stamp set. I'm stamping them in black ink onto the bottom right corner of my panels. I'm going to use two kinds of adhesive to adhere my die cut pieces, foam adhesive and glue. Glue will mostly be used to adhere leaves, the bottom layer of leaves, as I don't want them to be popped up, and foam adhesive will be used to adhere flowers and second layer of leaves. I already know how I want to position my flowers, I have them grouped into a cluster, so I'm just following that cluster and recreating it on these cards. I'm adding my largest flower using foam adhesive, next adding the smallest one right next to it, also foam mounting a flower that is facing sideways, adding a leafy branch, and the last medium sized flower. At this point, I realized I haven't yet trimmed my panel and I noticed I had some white space around my background stamping, so I trimmed it and adhered it onto a 4 bar card base. A 4 bar card base measures 3.5 by 4 and 7 8 inches. As soon as that was done, I adhered the last bottom layer leaf that is going outside the card base. Now this card looks good as is, and you can certainly keep it this way but I wanted to spice it up a bit, so I used that faux 3D decoupage technique and added identical images on top, but offset them slightly. For a true 3D decoupage look, you'll need to foam mount smaller images over your main images, but since I didn't have smaller versions for each image, while I had some smaller flowers, I didn't have a smaller version of the flower that is facing sideways and also smaller versions of the leaves. So I foam mounted identical images and simply offset them. So now I'm using foam adhesive for every element I'm going to adhere and I'm making sure to offset the top layer quite a bit so that the bottom and top layer are both prominently visible on the card. You don't have to add a second foam mounted layer onto every element, you can certainly skip a few, maybe skip a flower or skip some leaves. Lastly, I'm going to adhere a few enamel dots in green. 
These are enamel dots from W plus 9 and this green color goes perfectly well together with the last leaf in color I used to stamp my leaves. So here's a quick look at all three projects I made using this faux 3D decoupage technique. I used a different color combo to stamp my flowers and I love the way all of these turned out. So this finishes my today's video. I hope I have given you some new ideas to try and explore. Have fun, play a little bit and enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out W plus 9 for more creative inspiration. I'll see you next time. Bye!